Hello and welcome to another run-through tutorial. Today I will show you the controller settings. The controller settings are used to adapt our electronic card optimally to a hydraulic system. To set these parameters, we are using the known parameterizing software Paso. Here you see the main screen of this Paso software with the input signals, command value, feedback value, with the internal signals, and on the output side, the solenoid current for the connected hydraulic valve. The basic settings must be made on the system in advanced. Details about these settings you will find in other tutorials on our channel. To start the setting, we click on the controller box. Now is the parameter controller mode. On one side, we switch on the control system and we select the type of our control system. Position control, pressure control or flow control. In our application, we are using the position control because we have a cylinder which moves to two positions. The displayed unit is used to say how the values should be displayed in the puzzle software. For the position control, we can select millimeter, degree or inch. For a pressure control, the selection can be, for example, bar. For a flow control, liter per minute. Or you can define your own unit, as an example, centimeter. In our application, we are working with millimeters. The parameter command feed forward is used only for one solenoid uh, closed loop systems, pressure or flow controls. And this parameter leads the command value direct to the valve. And then the controller has to, uh, has to make only the fine adjustment. The parameter feed forward is used only for two solenoid closed loop systems. And this parameter is used to accelerate the compensation of the control deviation. In another window, you can set the PID parameters. P is proportional, E is integration, and D is differential. The proportional part you can set with the parameter P amplification. And the influence of this parameter, you can look very good in the signal recording what happens on the system. For example, when we set it to 5, we open the signal recording. We start the recording. Now we see my system moves from one to the other position. But you can see that we have a big deviation between command and feedback and the cylinder moves very slowly into the end position. We can try to optimize this. We go back to the controller and I increase now the value of the P amplification. For example, 25. We go back to the signal recording, start again. Now you can see the control deviation is very good. We have optimized the system, but now we have an overshoot for moving into the position. If this is not allowed, we have to rechange the parameters. For example, I decrease again the P amplification, for example, to 8, but I accelerate the compensation of the control deviation with the parameter velocity feed forward as an example, 0 0.8. Go back to the signal recording. We will see what happens. Now you see we have a control deviation, which is quite good, but we do not have an overshoot by moving into the position. If we have a look graphically to the value of the P part, we see here if the P part is too low, it's a signal like that. If it's uh, the P part too high, we have here the overshoot. And if the P part is okay, we have here the optimized signal. You see it's possible to adapt the electronic card in a good way to the uh, requirements of your system. 
If you are working in a position control, then the P part is enough. If you have a flow or pressure control, you should also use the integration part. You can switch off it here. Then you can adjust the time and you can adjust a window in which the E part should be active. If necessary, you can also work with the differential part. The value of the D amplification is active as long as the D time is also active. You can set for positive or negative control deviation different values. If you set here symmetrical adjustment, then a change on one side will also change the other side. If you deactivate this, a change on this side will have no influence on the other side. These controller settings are available on all our closed loop cards, as the 7 card controller card, DSV controller electronic, or mobile MD2 controller electronic. If you have more questions, please contact us or have a look to the other tutorials on our channel. Thank you for looking and see you.